गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास सिक्स वेलकम टू हिस्ट्री क्लास वी आर रीडिंग रिवर वैली सिविलाइजेशन ऑफ चाइना आर लेसन फॉर टूडे इज सेक्शन डी द चाइनीज इकोनॉमी एंड सेक्शन ई द अर्लीस्ट चाइनीज किंगडम so by this time you already know that in ancient times the chinese farmers settled along the middle and lower reaches of the wangho river as this regions were clear of woods though the area was fertile the life of the people there was full of hardships why for this two reasons drought and flood what is drought drought is absence of rainfall for a prolonged period of time which leads to shortage of water and you know that for cultivation for agriculture water is one of the essential things so crops were destroyed sometimes by droughts and another problem of this region was flood flood from the river wangho brought still greater calamities village after village was swept away and people and cattle were drowned thousands of people died in the flood and those who could survive returned to the devastated fields so you see absence of water is a problem definitely again presence of excess water is also a problem and the people who settled in this region in this uh, banks of wangho river they suffered from both of these problems they built earth dams and dug canals with great determination now what kind of tools they used their main tools were made of stone and bone so here you can see some images this are some kind of tools that they used to use about cultivation the chinese people sowed wheat millet rice they grew vegetables and bred cattle you already know this so this is just like summing up all what you have read about this chinese civilization they bred silk worms the first picture you can see they are silk worm and they made fine strong fabrics out of thin silk thread so the picture which is in the middle is silk thread and the final one is silk fabric so chinese people especially we are here we are talking about the people of ancient china they used to cultivate or they used to breed this silk worms from silk worm they got silk threads and using this fine silk thread they prepared silk fabric and this was very famous in later times it became very famous and they traded it internationally too artisans worked in copper bronze and made stone vessels so these are some examples of vessels that used to be prepared during that time stone vessels copper vessels and bronze vessel so such was the economy of chinese people so what are the things that we got this vessels then we have silk and crops so this are the three areas with which chinese economy were related in ancient times now let us know something about the earliest chinese kingdom 
what we came to know about this and how we came to know about the earliest Chinese kingdom. Archaeologists dug out a number of tombs on the banks of the river Wangho. The discovered tombs were of two types. Some of the tombs consisted only of dead bodies wrapped in mats and pots of food. This was one type and another one is that some other tombs were large pits a huge hollow space were created and each pit consisted of house and a large hall the coffin of dead persons was placed in the middle of the hall costly articles made of gold silver bronze etc were placed round the coffin to form a ring such coffin has been identified by the archaeologist as a king for alongside the coffin were buried hundreds of men some had their heads chopped off before being buried these were probably ordinary people buried together with the dead king to serve their souls and protect him it is presumed that the king was the ruler of a kingdom. Of course, the details of such kingdom have not yet been established. So, from the archaeological remains, it is guessed, it is considered that there were king and who ruled on his subject. But whether this fact is true or not, it is still not known so with this we come to the end of river valley civilization and also of chinese civilization that we were reading so now it is your task to read this portion and another thing is there common features of riparian civilization you will read this by yourself and if you find any uh, problem understanding this section you will send your query after you have done these things after you have read all these things you have to do this homework that is you have to write the answers of exercise a b c d and e Exercise C and D you will do in book itself and uh, exercise A, B and uh, A, B and E you will write in your history classwork exercise book. You will complete this work and submit the same on Wednesday. If you have any query you can mail in the given mail ID. Thank you.